What's up, guys? It is 10 o'clock, late at night. Uh, apologize for all of the delays on getting this update out, but it is out. A uh, relatively small one, but hopefully it will be some nice changes for the future. Hopefully it'll keep, you know, new players happy, and uh, hopefully they'll like everything. So, yeah, for starters, the teleport interface is now alphabetical. Uh, originally, when, when, when we, you know, were, were doing it, it made the most sense to me to try to put, like, the most uh, important teleports early. So, like, wh whichever one, I don't know, let's say Slayer Tower was one of the ones up here and everything like that. But, uh, you know, it, it didn't really work out great. Uh, it was confusing for newer players, obviously. Um, and it's just better now that it's alphabetical. Now, if you want Slayer Tower, you know where... That's not supposed to be. <laughs> Why is it right there? Ah. Uh. I, I don't know, fuck it, whatever, whatever, I don't know, I, oh, that's, it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be that, that makes the most sense to me, right, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's not supposed to be there, that's supposed to be there, <laughs> alright, whatever, man, it's, you know, you know, man, I tried, whatever, whatever, so it's alphabetical, or, it, that's the plan, right, uh, new, new legendary companion, skeleton priest, I, uh, I wasn't sure exactly how people like the uh, like the legendary companions. I mean, they're obviously donators, so they're kind of overpowered and uh, cheaty to get. But you can get them through normal means, uh, which some people certainly have. Um, but when I did the survey, which, uh, speaking of the survey, I'll get into that in a sec. When I did the survey, uh, it seemed like legendary companions was an idea people liked. So I was pretty excited to see that. Um, definitely want to try to add more if you have any ideas. This, this one uh, kind of made sense, uh, just a priest gives you prayer bonus I, I, at first i thought oh that's probably way too overpowered but the banker is more overpowered and can essentially do the exact same thing with with a little bit more work so i mean i, I don't know definitely 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 overpowered uh let's uh let's move on so yeah training grounds boom come on train uh yeah, it makes sense that we'd have some people here. Bear is a group boss. Everybody who does damage to it will will get loot and contribute. Got your little mini bears here. Uh, I'll just show you the drop the tables, drop tablas. Let's go with mini bear first. Mini bear, real simple. Main thing you're looking for is some cash money, some, some interesting stuff like the recoil, red mahogany logs. Red mahoganies are staying. They are just only obtainable from cutting mahoganies and I guess now mini bears, but you can still turn them in. They will always be here. Uh, easy clue is probably the main thing. Some nice chunk of black darts. I don't know if that's going to be worth it for people to use, but it's an option. We got these little uh, goliath spiders over here. These are new. Uh, goal. Life. There we go. I was supposed to change Longbone, but didn't, so f that's fun. This is uh, this was a great update. Yeah, it's been good. Things been going well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways. Uh, so enjoy a nice, free, long, overpowered Longbone that's easily obtainable. These things have, like, 300 HP, so, I mean, at least they're kind of slow to kill. The logic was that they'd be a little slow to kill, and you got, I don't know, just AFK them from far, but whatever. Uh, another thing that was changed with the update, I mentioned this before in the last update, or the last video, Elven Guards. Uh, the Guards have now been renamed a little bit to help them distinguish themselves. These ones are Elven. Uh, they're also found at home and found in Prif. Uh, you got the ones in Fally, renamed to Thaddor Guard, and you got the ones in Rock named Rock Guard, so... Yeah, that. But they're not really new, just renamed to speed things up. So then I'll show you Kodak. Pet, Kodak Cub, 1 in 100. Main thing is like the elite clue. This is supposed to be like one of the best ways to almost guarantee yourself an elite clue. Also get a nice chunk of money, guaranteed 1 mil cash every kill with a nice uh, chance at 10 mil. Get some, get some really good stuff in here too. Group loot chest, Mr. Box. Three pairs of Dragon Claws, that's pretty crazy. That seems like that might be a mistake. Maybe. I don't know. And then there's an actual pair of Dragon Claws. This is confusing. I'm confused. Dragon Bolts. Dragon Darts on here too. So, I mean, Codex got some pretty cool drops. And it's very easy. Again, the only thing about it is that it is on a massive respawn timer. So, it's not really the kind of boss you're going to want to sit here and do this for. I suppose you could. But 
I'd recommend if you really didn't want to like farm the boss for a while. I don't know if you're trying to go for the pet. I'd probably just I don't know kill some mini bears. Uh, the idea really wasn't so much so that like new player or like returning players would have to farm this, but if there's a pet, people are gonna do it. Um, this is, would obviously be a much better way to start off. The logic is like a group Ironman team could you know all pile these mini bears and every time the boss spawns, hop on there. Uh, I plan to do some more changes. Obviously, if any of you guys have any feedback or any suggestions, I would be happy to hear them. Uh, but I, I do like it. I think it's a little bit better. I think it's more unique. So it's not just go kill a unicorn and a, a rabbit. Like, you know, some stuff you've already seen. Uh, you do get elven gold per kill. Not like per kill, like every single kill. But like, you do get elven gold. And then the shop. I'll show you the shop. A little change to uh, add a couple more stuff. Some more supplies. I'm still not quite sure, like... Like farming, like the you know what I mean, like the conversion rates, like the amount per hour. I'm still gotta like figure that out and make it good. I'm sure we'll probably need some improvements with that, but you know, it, it, it laid, laid the base work for a nice little uh, training zone. Hopefully, we make some improvements on it moving forward. Uh, the massive undead cow boss now permanently drops two group loot chests. All of the other group bosses are kind of getting like improvements that are gonna make them more and more, uh, inter like more and more. You're gonna want to. You're going to be more likely to want to kill them. And the cow is kind of uh, falling behind. So I figured we would make it so that that always will always drop two. I think that will keep people at Moo. Um, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, the odds of receiving medium clues from guards has been increased. So maybe canning Falador with uh, a cannon <laughs> is uh, as a strategy that might be worth it now. I actually have no clue. I'm just, I just figured, um, you know includes the chance the, the ways to get the way the ways to get, increasing the ways to get clues without like events event it seems like events are always overpowered ways to get clues but when there's no event going kind of sol so trying to make some sort of minor improvements uh teleport information uh, yeah, i already talked about that already talked about that uh bank did some stuff this update he uh has made some changes to raids uh so i in my last video i talked about potentially adding raid boxes back it seems like the idea is not uh very popular um not necessarily like not popular just it didn't seem like there was a lot of support for it i think the plan is to just kind of make a lot more actual changes to raids um and just make the process of doing raids better better and easier so that that's what we'll be doing if that doesn't work out down the road maybe we can revisit it um they also don't have to be the exact same as they were on classic like for example we could do it so it was like a raids chest and it was essentially the exact same as like rolling from the chest at like i don't know ten thousand like a minimum points or something like that so you could potentially get i don't know like the advantos and stuff like that you could get the craft drops it wouldn't just be a guaranteed good item or you know we could go the other way it, it, there, there's a lot of things we could do it doesn't always have to be exactly like we've seen before whatever the best idea is is you know hopefully what we would try to do and then uh, also i didn't really test it but i think he added spin flax spell i should have probably tested that but uh, i didn't so that's it a uh, very short video or a very short update apologize for that apologize for the, the lack of content you guys got in september hopefully october will be a lot better uh, the H Ween event will likely be next week, the 14th, but I'm really going to try to get it out this Friday. Uh, we'll see. I want it to be good. I want it to be overpowered. And if it isn't, if, you know, if it's not, if it's not acceptable by the 7th, then we'll, uh, we might have to delay it a little bit. I'm not opposed to just randomly releasing on a Monday, like this video or this update today. So, uh, we'll see when it's ready. It's ready. Uh, hopefully you'll see some more content from me, like more videos, um, and actually see me in game again. That's kind of the problem is whenever you get really far behind in an update, I don't want to get distracted by logging in and, you know, fucking around with a bunch of stuff and talking to people. Um, that, that's just, I mean, I have ADHD, so like my, I'm cr incredibly easily distracted. So whenever the update is like this, it's just, it's makes the most sense to try to, to try to limit the potential things I can distract myself with. In the grand scheme of things, it really does not matter because there's infinite things I can distract myself with. I mean, I could just stare at the wall and, and look at the random, you know, the random dirt that's on my wall and question how did that get there. So, yeah, it makes no difference. Uh, but but I try. I try to, I try to, you know, try to focus, try to get there, and uh, I don't know, like we're like two, three weeks late on this one, but uh, hey, it's out there. And uh, we can finally, we can finally stop focusing on the new player stuff. Hopefully they will be good. Hopefully they'll be solid. Uh, again, with the, uh, I'll have to, you know, fix my Slayer Tower bullshit. But 
this should be smoother now to, to find your boss a little easier and then the training grounds will hopefully be a little more interesting for people to want to train the logic is that you're supposed to make a lot of money there um, that would it's gonna hopefully entice people to do them but uh, you know we'll see how it plays out thanks for watching guys I will see you next time